Metoprolol is a beta blocker that affects the heart and circulation. It is one of the three most commonly used beta blockers. It is a member of the following classes, antianginal, antiarrhythmic group two, antihypertensive, antimigraine, and cardiovascular agent. The effectiveness has been demonstrated in clinical studies as shown by reduction in heart rate and cardiac output at rest and during exercise, reduction of systolic blood pressure during exercise, inhibition of isoproteranol induced tachycardia, and reduction of reflex orthostatic tachycardia. The two main types are metoprolol tartrate, also known as lepressor, and metoprolol succinate, which is also known as toprol XL. Tartrate is immediate release while succinate is extended release. The FDA-approved indications for adults are acute MI, angina, CHF, and hypertension. The FDA-approved indication for children over six is hypertension. Serious adverse effects are heart block, heart failure, MI, and bronchospasms. Metoprolol is contraindicated for patients with severe bradycardia, decompensated cardiac failure, cardiogenic shock, second and third degree heart blocks, sick sinus failure, and hypersensitivity to any of the components of the product. Metoprolol is pregnancy category C, but is usually compatible with breastfeeding since infant risk is minimal. Prior to administration, obtain apical pulse and blood pressure. Withhold medication if pulse is less than 60 and systolic blood pressure is less than 100. The extended release tablet of metoprolol may be split in half, but the whole or half tablet should be swallowed whole and not chewed or crushed. It can be taken with water and should be taken with or immediately following meals. It should not be taken on an empty stomach. The American Heart Association Task Force on Practice Guideline for the Management of ST Elevated Myocardial Infarction recommends an initial dose of 25 to 50 milligrams orally every 6 to 12 hours. Patients can then be titrated to once daily dosing as tolerated. When discontinuing therapy, dosages should be gradually reduced. Beta blocker withdrawal in patients post infarction has been associated with an increased risk of developing a new infarction and or unstable angina. Potential nursing diagnoses are risk for injury related to adverse effects of drug and deficient knowledge related to drug therapy. The serious adverse effects are heart block, heart failure, myocardial infarction, and bronchospasm. Bronchospasms due to metoprolol are most common in patients with asthma or COPD. Patients with chronic renal failure or diabetes taking metoprolol are at risk for metoprolol-induced hyperkalemia. Patients of African descent are less likely to respond to metoprolol therapy. For patient education, instruct patient to self-monitor and keep a record of blood pressure and pulse. Patients should take blood pressure and pulse prior to taking medication and should withhold medication if pulse is less than 60 or systolic blood pressure is less than 100. Instruct patient to take medication as directed by the healthcare provider and to avoid abrupt discontinuation of medication. Patients may be instructed by a physician to stop taking the medication several days before surgery or medical tests. Patients should notify their healthcare provider at the first signs and symptoms of depression, like difficulty sleeping, weight loss, apathy, and sadness. Patients should also monitor for the early signs and symptoms of heart failure, such as shortness of breath, swelling of extremities, and night coughs. Patients should immediately report any wheezing, difficulty breathing, allergic reaction, bradycardia, swelling in extremities, and worsening chest pain. Diabetic patients should monitor their blood sugar frequently and their usual insulin dosage may need to be reduced. Instruct diabetic patients that their medication may also mask tachycardia that accompanies hypoglycemia.